finally, to love them both, we have to do something else. We have to do something very personal, something that it's not popular to talk about today, something that is certainly countercultural in many spaces today. And what that is, is we have to change our society's mindset on sex. Imagine, imagine what would happen if we only as a society had sex with people we, were lo we loved and were committed to in a lifelong marriage and when we were ready to be parents. What would happen? There would be no need, no even temptation, no question of abortion. Our society looks at sex as recreational, sometimes cheap. As long as there's consent between two adults, that's enough. Do what you please. Again, it's the individualistic, relativistic message. But we know that that's not true. Sex is more than that. Sex is about more than recreation, and it's about even more than consent. Sex should be about love. Sex should be about responsibility. And sex is designed to be about bringing life into the world. And you know what? That's awesome. That's a beautiful thing. That's not a negative thing. And yet our society treats it as this gross thing that has to be solved or fixed like some sort of a disease with an abortion. If we change our mentality about sex, our behaviors around sex, if we make it great again, if we make it sacred again, if we treat each other with the respect that each other deserves, we can solve the abortion problem. We can completely solve the abortion crisis. But it takes our decisions. It takes our willingness to set the example. It takes our willingness to lead to lead in the friend groups that we have, in the, in, the, in, the, in the groups of friends that we have, in the families that we have, in the workplaces that we share, wherever we go. Make sex sacred again. That's the ultimate way to solve the abortion crisis.